Hey everybody, how's it going and welcome back to Modern Craft. So this is going to be a short video. I've been trying very hard to record a tutorial for this. And there are three things that are stopping me. The first thing is, I think I'm getting conjunctivitis in my left eye. So I don't really want to be on camera for a long time. The second thing is, my cat has been repeatedly hollering outside my bedroom, which makes it very hard for me to record commentary for this. And the third thing is, the stupid dog upstairs won't stop howling. So basically, I can't concentrate. But I wanted to, at the very least, talk about how I went into making this building and how I thought about it and how I built it. And hopefully I'll be able to get an organized tutorial for you guys for this specific building in the future. It looks really complicated, but it's not. It's actually really simple. It's just the way that I had to go about making it was kind of complicated for me and trying to explain the tutorial can be a little bit difficult. I mean, you can see over there that I started to do a tutorial and then it was like, nope, I, I can't with this anymore. This is getting silly. So anyways, um, basically this is the thing that I built a few weeks ago. And of course, when I finally worked out in my head how to do a tutorial, you know, the silliness happened and the distractions happened. But anyways, um, Let's just uh, head inside, and I'll show you guys the interior really quick. I mean, the way you do the interior is totally up to you. And um, this is how I decided to do the living room. And if you guys want me to do any furniture tutorials, like how I made this and how I made that, let me know in the comment section, and I will happily do that for you. So this is the kitchen. Obviously, the cabinet area. I really love this kitchen. I am very proud of it. I think... For a functional survival kitchen, it works quite well. You have your smelting here, you have your anvil, you can craft, you have a little cute sitting area which also has storage, so there's a functionality to it. And in addition to that, um, you know, this is the brewing station. I made this kind of look like a sink, but it's a brewing station, and you've got all your potions in there. And so, yeah, that's basically that. Did I put anything in this? No, I didn't. And just a decorative plant for haha's. So did I put anything in these? Oh yeah, I did. I was smart. I actually put stuff in this. So that's that was nice of me. I didn't have to do that, but that's okay. So yeah, all of your plants and things can go right in here. So moving on, um, I just didn't like this blank wall, and I didn't want to put a painting there because I feel like that's kind of cheap decoration. But I just didn't like just a big blocky area, so I decided to turn this into like a little under stairwell closet. So here we have all of these different dyes and all of these other different little things in here. Just basically like, I don't know where I should put it, so that's where I will put it. Oh, and I put this together too as kind of like a little, you know, jacket and hat hanger, you know, coat hanger thing just for atmosphere. It's, it, it has no real functionality whatsoever, um, unless you really want to put your armor down there, which I don't think you would. So up here, I was like, I don't know what to do for the bedroom, so I'll just do this, and I'll try to make it fancy, but it's a small space, so there's not a whole lot of like big grand furniture I can put in here like I did downstairs. So bed, a little table, which also provides light, by the way, because I use the... Um, you know, end rods, and your ender chest, and that's basically that. I do quite like the way that the um, stairwell fits into the house, as well as, um, you know, the glass stained panes here. I, I just think that looks really good. And for out here, I did kind of like a little patio area. Um, very simple. I tried to make a grill that was as creative as I could get. I'm sure that there are people out there in the world who have come up with far better outdoor grills than I ever have. But that was the only thing I could think of. I guess it's a grill. I don't know. But anyways. Um, so that's what I thought. If we, if we could lay down um, iron bars flat, that would make me very happy. But anyways, so... Here we go. So that's basically that, and obviously like a little sitting area, some plants, and there you go. So obviously you'll see this like window over here. This was a last minute design because I didn't want this to just be like a solid blocky area of quartz. And I was like, you know, it'd be kind of cool to have a window right there. I mean, pointless, but cool. 
So I just did it. And obviously I have the black carpet on top of the roof, which um, from up above looks really bad, but from down below it adds just like a thin layer that you can't really see because it's nighttime, but it adds like a thin black layer, which you'll sometimes see at the top of um, some modern houses. So I thought that would be like a nice little addition. So the reason why I went with the stone bricks was because I wanted to use stone bricks. I just been wanting to do that for a while and I wanted something with some texture because lately I've been using a lot of the stained clay and wooden quartz and I wanted something that had a little bit of depth to it. Something that, you know, looked like it had a bumpier surface. Um, and I decided to go with the jungle wood planks because I just wanted like a little bit of color because the oak wood and the, um, what do you call it? The birch wood, I feel like they're too light and up against the um, white of the quartz, I don't think it looks very good. Like on the inside, it looks nice, but on the outside, I don't think it looks very good. So I, I wanted this to have a nice dramatic effect when you looked at it from the outside. So that's kind of how I went with that. And honestly, the first thing that I built, which I made be the first part of the tutorial, was this whole window section that you see right here. That was the first thing I did. And then I put in the oak, and then I went with the um, stone bricks. And working this out was kind of hard for me at first because... I made it this as wide as this section is right here and I was like that doesn't look right that doesn't transition right so I actually stuck this area out like I extended it oh look it's raining in like every one of my modern craft videos it always rains it's like becoming a tradition anyways so I basically extended this out just to give it a little bit more room which is why the kitchen is so big um, I had had hopes of that originally having like an enchanting area, but it just didn't work out the way that I wanted it to without covering up the windows. And I didn't want to just have like a blank wall out here because these windows and this window here too would have been completely covered up. Because I don't like to put furniture right in front of a window because you're just going to see bookshelves when you look at it from outside and I think that looks stupid. So that's how that ended up the way that it did. Um... But I just, I, I didn't think that would look good. And this section right here, um, I put this here purely for decoration purposes. If you wanted to extend this out to make like a um, garden or something or like an animal pen, you could do that. And that would make it make more sense. But for me, it was just like, this is a blank wall. I need to put something here other than windows. So I did that. Again, I have no idea what this is. It's just there. It, it looks good. So I was like, okay, we'll roll with it. And believe it or not, this is really just made out of these um, seven blocks down here, if you want to count the uh, black carpets as part of the seven blocks. But yeah, it's just a black of quartz, quartz slab, stone bricks, stone brick slab, um, black stained glass panes, and jungle wood planks, and the black carpet. And that's it. But, um, yeah, and the landscaping was done afterwards. I, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do, but I was like, you know what, I gotta think of something, so this is what happened. I'm okay with it. I mean, it's not my best, but it's not my worst either, because you guys have seen my landscaping, and sometimes it can be really bad. But, um, yeah, so I promise you guys I will have a decent tutorial for you in the future for this house. I promise. I promise. I will do a good tutorial when I don't have the distractions of my cat, the upstairs dog, and everything, and my eye bothering me and everything else. But I promise I will get this all worked out for you guys and it will be nice and happy. So anyways, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe, comment, and like if you want to see more. I'm going to keep doing tutorials and videos about modern houses and Minecraft like this in the future. They come out once a week, every Tuesday at 1 p.m. So stay tuned for that. So anyways, thank you guys very much. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I will see you guys next time.